And welcome back to the NCAA Division I semifinal presented on ESPN by Enterprise Rent-A-Car. The mouth of Hellgate Canyon, we are 10-7. Appalachian State on top of the number one ranked and undefeated Montana Grizzlies. Alongside former UCLA tight end Charles Arbuckle, I am Todd Harris. Well, we've seen a little bit of everything. Offense looked good for Montana to start the game, and then they really bogged down. Appalachian State came alive, and then the winter storm warning came on. And, Charles, we got a whole different game here for the second half. We really do, Todd. I was surprised that Montana didn't stay with the run. They were running the ball effectively, got away from it a little bit, trying to throw the football more. App State made some adjustments, and you can see clearly with the, with the weather is coming into play and also all these other things, the intangibles of keeping the ball and scoring. As we take a look at our first half highlights, again, it was first Montana that struck early. Chase Reynolds on this beautiful cutback play and the Grizz were on the board. He was able to find the hold and that offensive line did a good job of coming off. App State responds with Devin Moore with a strong physical run inside. All right, so that's where we stand, 10 to 7. As we said, winter storm warning has hit the Missoula area. Heavy snow, heavy winds. Temperature was at 15 when we started the game. They say with the wind chill now, it's probably closer to zero. So as we take a look at our coaching adjustments for the second half, let's first start with head coach Bobby Houck of Montana. What does he need to do to get his team to Chattanooga next week? Well, he's got to do a better job of picking up the blitz from App State. They were able to adjust and really start coming from the outside. You see Jock Roman there and Dominique. Coming inside, Dominique McDuffie applying pressure. Andrew Sell couldn't get comfortable, and that's the reason why this offense from Montana kind of stalled. They started out, scored right away, and then couldn't do anything after that. And those are our coaching adjustments brought to you by the Home Depot. Well, the stats do not lie. Montana Grizzlies, first drive, 63 yards, one touchdown. Last five drives, 79 total yards, no score. And Bobby Houck says we've got to play as a team. If we try to play individually, it won't get done. But he has got some great players. They play very physical football. I would say, Charles, normally the weather is favoring Montana, but Boone comes from the mountains. They come from the hills. They're used to the cold. Yeah, App State is able to play in this weather as well. You, you really look at it from this standpoint. There's been a lot of drops, six on both teams. Both of these teams are accustomed to catching the football, playing in this weather, but for whatever reason, they haven't capitalized on opportunities to get third downs and convert them into first downs. There you see the weather conditions we talked about. We're supposed to get three to six inches of snow by tomorrow afternoon. All we're concerned about right now is the next two hours. One of these teams is going to punch their ticket to Chattanooga, Tennessee. That's where Villanova awaits the number two seed, waiting to see who they will play in the FCS championship Friday on ESPN 8 o'clock. We saw earlier the tee issue. The wind was blowing the ball right off the tee, but Sam Martin's got it in a good place. Montana, of course, won the toss. They deferred, and they will get a crack at it here in the second half. Jabin Sombrano at the 10. Sombrano has a seam, cuts it back inside, and he's still on his feet up to about the 45-yard line, a 35-yard return. And the Grizz are in business. As we said, that's what it is. this is the second semifinal last night. Villanova came from behind to beat William and Mary. And now it's Montana's turn to try to mount some kind of a comeback. They have not lost Charles all year long. Appalachian State's two losses came the first two games, and that's without Armani Edmonds. And the majority of their games, they've been behind and came storming back. the outside is Chase Reynolds. He's got a nice seam up the side, and he is tackled at about the 31-yard line. Michael Frazier, the bandit, has to come over and stop him, but a 24-yard pickup for the Grizzlies. 